Hi, I'm just popping on today to let you know about Bonnie Hunter's mystery quilt and why I'm doing it and why I think you should too. I'm Amy and I make things and in today's video I'm making a case for Bonnie Hunter's mystery quilt. Hang around, let's see what happens. I've mentioned several times in other videos that I deal with chronic pain due to osteoarthritis in my hip. It's from a congenital problem, hip replacements on the horizon, but I deal with pain. And I've shared tips and tricks on ways that I quilt and work in spite of and around this pain. And I will continue to do that in future videos because chronic pain is something that many quilters deal with and physical limitations are something that many of us deal with. But today, with the holidays upon us, I wanna talk about quilting through a different kind of pain. The kind of pain that isn't physical and doesn't always show. We all have sadnesses and joys in our lives and sometimes when the only way out is through, staying focused and productive can bring relief or at least a little respite on dark days. Most people love the holiday season but it isn't always a joyful time for everyone or sometimes it's a mixed bag. I know for me Thanksgiving is really hard. My mom has been gone for 17 years and Thanksgiving is still hard. It was her favorite holiday, and it's a holiday that's bound up in food culture and family tradition and recipes handed down. And I don't have anything written down. I just remember what my mom told me. So every year if I'm making the meal, there's a moment where I end up and I'm elbow deep in the stock pot, mixing the dressing ingredients, and I lose it. And Casey has become an expert in quietly watching me and just being there to hold me up when I fall apart. It is momentary now and I get through it, but it's still hard. Knowing this, Bonnie Hunter graciously hosts her mega mystery quilt extravaganza, her mystery quilt along during the holidays every year. And I will link everything down below, her informational page and her explanation of why she does it this time of year, the story behind the inspiration for the color palette and the quilt. And this year I've decided to quilt along. Being part of a project, being part of something that gives you something to do every week can be a real boon. And even if you can't get to the quilting, even if you can't do that, being part of a community of cheerleaders during a time that might be really difficult can be a real lifeline. So that's why I wanna make sure everybody out there knows about this event that the mystery quilt is coming and the first clue comes out the day after Thanksgiving. So there's still plenty of time to choose your colors, to plan, to get all the information. And like I said, be sure and read that informational page, the intro page on Bonnie's website. It will give you all the details about the fabric, re fabric requirements and any information that you might need. Bonnie's done these for a lot of years, and so any question you might have, she has an information page there that will hopefully answer it. Also consider joining Bonnie's Quiltville Facebook page. That's where all the action is. So if you, like me, this year are in good spirits and want to quilt along, go grab your colors. You can be part of the excitement and the support group for everyone who's quilting regardless of their reasons. And to that end, I have pulled my colors and you should be seeing them now. And I love Bonnie's red, white, and blue palette. It is absolutely beautiful. I wanted to branch out. I wanted to do something different, just a new point of view, something a little more me. So the colors I've chosen are bright white to light gray neutrals, navies, pinks from bubblegum to fuchsia, and lime and chartreuse in place of where Bonnie has red. On Saturday, November 25th, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, I will be on the live stream with Donnell from Donnell Stitchery, and this is what I'll be working on. I haven't done a Bonnie Hunter mystery in a good many years, and I'm really excited for this one, and I hope you'll join me, or if you can't quilt along, I hope you will be part of the community and support the people who are quilting along because the kind word means so much. In the comments below, let me know if you're quilting along and what colors you're choosing, or if you've done Bonnie Hunter mystery quilts in the past, or if you're just intrigued to see me add one more harebrained idea to my end of the year crunch. Regardless, let me know down below. While you're there, 
like, subscribe, share, ring that little bell and it will notify you when I post a new video and I think it will notify you if I do a community post as well. I really appreciate you guys and I wanted you to know about Bonnie Hunter's mystery program and encourage you to quilt along with me. So if you're quilting along or if you're just watching my insanity, don't forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy and I'll see you next time.